Hello everyone, Scott here with Android iPad TV. This week I'm going to be featuring 15 applications in Android that I couldn't live without. Stay tuned, I will also be featuring 15 applications in iOS shortly. I hope you enjoy. The first application I like to review is called Evernote. Here we have a nice widget to see all your notes. You can take pictures, create audio recordings, or open up this drawing app and you can draw all sorts of things, change colors, write different texts, and create different shapes. Creating notes is very simple inside Evernote. Android gives you many choices in keyboards. One of my favorites is swipe. Notice how quickly I can swipe from word to word without having to release my thumb. Once I do release, it creates the, the word and creates a the space for the next word. Now notice how quickly I can copy and paste what I just typed, just as simple as on a PC. SwiftKey X also allows for quick typing because it predicts my next word based upon patterns that it recognizes in things that I've typed before in Gmail, Facebook, and other th applications. Watch how it now fixes all my mistakes and predicts the next word before I even have to type it. Folder Organizer keeps you organized by allowing you to launch applications quickly. You can create categories and put different applications inside each of those categories. You can even repeat applications among their different folders. Look how easily I can check and uncheck which category each application belongs to. I can also star it and make it a favorite for easy access. I can change its icon, rename it, uninstall it from the application. Look how easily I can launch all of these categories and how quickly I can choose between them. I can change them within the application and rename them and assign different icons. Google Voice is an application which replaces common text messaging and calling. Text messaging on using Google Voice is completely free. It's feature filled it allows you to replace your phone calling and they even make international calls. Gtas is an application for Google Tasks. Look how quickly I can swipe in between categories. I can edit those lists. I can quick, quickly create new tasks and those tasks will be available inside Gmail and online uh, using Google Tasks. When I've completed a task I can check it and then clear it and it will automatically sync within the application and online. I can now launch my to-do manager quickly from my widget, create a new task, change its date and settings and reminders. Gtasks is one more way to stay organized inside Android. Google Maps and navigation allows you to find locations very easily. Here you can find restaurants, ATMs, gas stations, and more. Once you've found a location, you can map it, get directions to your location, and you can use the navigation tool, in which case Android will actually speak out the directions as you are driving turn by turn. One of my favorite features is the street view feature where you can see your actual location in 3D. Noom is a fitness application with, with three major functions, managing and tracking weight, scheduling and tracking workouts, and tracking food intake. When starting a workout, it'll automatically play my playlists while I run. I can log workouts that I've done outside of the application as well. There are many different categories to choose from. I can set up a profile with my weight gain goals. Here I can track meals. It is set up in, in green, yellow, and red categories. Red being the worst food for you and green being the best. You can find descriptions here such as fruits and other types of descriptions which help you in deciding which category they best fit in. Managing food and calorie intake is as simple as a click of the button. Our Groceries is an application which allows you to create grocery lists. This application can be shared among many Android and iOS devices. 
list can even be shared and managed online. To delete an item, all I have to do is press on it. To delete a list, I long press and it clears it. I can add an item quickly through saved items that it has in its memory, or I can begin typing and it will automatically find items that I've either had it in its database or I can add new items. You can manage your lists and other Android devices and iOS devices will be automatically synced once they are opened. You can even manage the lists online. Player Pro is a sophisticated music player which can replace Android's lackluster music player. Quickly shift between albums and artists and view beautiful album artwork. The UI is clean, clear, and very simple to use. I can pause a track by double pressing on the screen at any time. I can also fast forward through a song by swiping or pressing the fast forward key. The lock screen is a gorgeous and innovative design. Every time I fast forward, it changes the album artwork from behind it. Notice the background art changing each time I swipe. Power Amp is another alternative with a great UI. It too allows me to fast forward through songs simply by swiping or pressing the fast forward keys. choose a different place in the track, I can simply use my finger and press exactly in the track spot that I wanted to start playing. Easily navigate between your play playlist and artist from its menu. Here on the lock screen, again I can swipe and fast forward between tracks. Read It Later is an application which allows you to bookmark and save what you've been reading online and through your smartphone. Once you find an article you want to come back to, you can open it up and it will open up in a very mobile friendly, easy to read fashion. Quickly switch between text view and regular reading view within the application. If I find something and I want to share it, I can post it to other social media sites such as Facebook and Twitter and other things. When I've completed something, just press the check mark and it will go away. I can even save YouTube videos for later that can be watched directly from the Read It Later application. Read It Later is for both iOS and Android as well as on PC or Mac. Inside an application such as TweetDeck, if there's a tweet that I want to save for later, I can do that. Or within the mobile browser, once I've found something I want to save, I can quickly share the application and put it right to Read It Later. Read It Later will sync the next time you open it up. You can manage Read It Later bookmarks online using your browser. Read It Later is a perfect mobile way to save all of your bookmarks for later. Shush Ringer Restore allows you to put your phone to silent mode and not forget to restore it later on. It will do all the work for you. You can set a time that you want it to be silent and by pressing the Shush key it will notify you the next time it will automatically restore itself back to full volume. At any time you can restore its volume within that time period. The application gives you two options, to shush it or to turn it off indefinitely, in which case you will have to remember to turn it back on. Tasker lets your phone take full control of your settings automatically without you having to remember to do anything. The application is not the simplest to use, but you can create new profiles to automate things such as turning off your GPS 
playing music automatically, turning on and off sync. Using Tasker, I can flip my phone over to silence the ringer and then flip it back to restore it. I can also plug in my earphones and it'll launch the music player and automatically begin playing my music playlist. Once I remove the earphones, it'll stop playing the music and restore it back to its home screen. Here I can plug in my earphones, it'll automatically disable Wi-Fi and auto sync. Once I remove the earphone jack, Wi-Fi and sync are automatically restored. Titanium Backup is a must-have application for Android routers. The free version allows you to backup applications individually. The paid version, however, allows you to backup in batch. Here I can backup all my user apps and system data all at one time. By default, it selects all, but I can deselect everything and then toggle each application individually to decide which ones I want backed up. Here I can back up all of my new applications. I can also restore apps and da data at any time. I can freeze applications, uninstall applications by batch, and I can delete any backups I've made. Titanium Backup syncs to Dropbox. Backups can also be automated at times that I choose. My favorite social application is TweetDeck. It features perfect integration between Facebook and Twitter. I can flip between my lists, and when sending a tweet, I can choose between Twitter, Facebook, Foursquare, and other Twitter accounts. By simply pressing, I can select and deselect each account. When I find a tweet I like or a comment I like, I can quickly reply or retweet the comment. I can favorite it or share the, the comment as well. When I view a posting I like in Facebook, such as a YouTube video, I can launch the YouTube video from within the application. I can also view the various likes and comments within each post. Wave Launcher is an application in which I can swipe from the side of my screen and launch any folder or application or widget quickly. Here I can launch from already within an application. Notice how this widget is placed on top of the application running behind. Using this, I can quickly tweet or update to Facebook from within any application. Here I can manage which part of my screen I need to swipe from. I can place any application I want on the bar. I can also choose different shortcuts and folders. I can put place a direct dial to a contact. I can also choose playlists and task lists. And finally, I can even choose widgets to go along the bar. I can even choose between different widget sizes. 